Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this deck of the woods. It surely must be. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing-back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full-back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two. And that's why I liked it, because I didn't have to get back that much. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a very powerful finisher, too, so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not. I would advise the former. Not to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Pellegrini with the clearance. Saniolo battles to win it back. Florenzi. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Clive Hurts. Balls out on the left, now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Balls loose, who's getting there? Shapes to shoot! Goal, Roma! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Verona just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. And that was asking just too much of him. to get it forward quickly. Pellegrini. Zaniolo. Hoists it forward. It's being played forward, and the counter is on. Kleiverts. Kleiverts going full tilt down the left. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner.
held by the keeper. Plenty waiting in the middle. Clivert. Oh, sweet feet. Saniolo, a scorer already in the game. Oh, shooting chance! And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that have still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Came up to now. <laughs> Hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Verona need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Florenti with the crossfield ball. Pellegrini. And it's Dzeko. Gets good distance on it. Federico Fazio. Kolarov set up one goal so far. Kleibert. A really good feat. Has a look and plays it in. Dzeko gets on the end of it. Strength, two strikes opponent. Keep defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's has a hit. <laughs> Verona are definitely going about this the right way. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. And there, Florenzi. This is promising. It is quite a run he's making here. There are a few waiting for it. And there, and there, decides to... And the shot! Zaniolo quickly realised that he could have a pop. Not his best. Gets into a dangerous position. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. Miguel Veloso. So here comes the substitution. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Forward it goes. The leveller or the knockout blow. Either way, it's got to happen right away. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. And there, uh, has a look inside the box. Zaniolo. Gunter. And there goes the final whistle. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. 